today, December 1st, my birthday, they released the Batman Arkham Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch along with a new bat suit. But we also have the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League coming out in a couple months with a new bat suit for the Arkham games. And I thought that it would be fun to go through all of the bat suits from the Arkham games and rank them. But we're not just going to be doing the bat suits, we're going to be doing all of the characters that are playable. So we're going to be talking about Robin, we're going to be talking about Catwoman, we're going to be talking about my boy Nightwing. Harley Quinn, Red Hood, we're going to go through all of them. So we're going to start with the game that started it all, and that is Arkham Asylum, because there are unlockable suits here. So the first one that we have is just regular Batman here. He's a little bit damaged because this is like post game. But the thing that I really like about this suit is that it reminds me of the the 90s show, more specifically Batman, the new animated series. And you know, it's a pretty standard bat suit, but I like the logo. I like the long ears. And I just overall really like the, the design. It's not like my favorite per se, but I gotta give it like a solid eight out of 10. Very iconic for what the Arkham series represents. Up next, we have the Armored Batman. Right away, I am not a huge fan of the armor, personally. I'm just zooming right into Batman's crotch right here <laughs> where he has the uh, the crotch guard. Like, I'm just not really a big fan of, of Van of the Armor stuff, the chin strap. Also looks a little weird, but it, it, it's basically the same suit, but just armored and with a crotch guard. But I'm gonna give it like a six. And that's it for Arkham Asylum. <laughs> all right, moving on to Arkham City. I want you all to know right now, I actually had to go back and find the Robin trophy so that way we could view it in here instead of just like in game. But we're gonna start with the bat suits. We have uh, Arkham City Batman, almost identical <laughs> to the Arkham Asylum variant. I'm almost certain that it is the exact same suit. It is the Asylum one, just more detailed. Okay, in that case, for the more detail, it's an 8.5. There's also a hot toy of this, by the way. I, I need to mention that. I want this as a hot toy someday. In fact, I actually want the Batman Arkham City Collector's Edition because of like the statue. Animated Batman from the 90s show. In game, this looks very good. You know, I'm just not really a big fan of like the animated style, like clashing with like the realistic graphics, but I think that this does like just enough to make it fit in with the rest. So I'm honestly, I'm gonna have to also give this an eight out of 10. A 1970s bat suit. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a big fan of the blue. Like the he has the bullseye logo again, which is fine. The belt looks fine. It's also very weird that he has the white eyes here. Um, I'm gonna give this like a seven. It's not bad, it's just lower on the scale for me. I just, I'm personally not a fan of the blue Batman color. Batman year one, I remember watching this movie. See, this is basically like more realistic version of what the uh, the new animated series like Batsuit looks like. I really like it because it reminds me of that. Even the belt is similar. It's just a little more desaturated. Texture looks gray in the white eyes. I will have to give this one an eight. It's probably gonna be like a lot of eights until we get to like the uh, the stinkers. Earth One Batman. I don't really know how I feel about this. I'm not a big fan of like the logo being up here, like kind of attached to his cape. The the cowl has like a slightly different section. Uh, it, you know, it, this is like a, maybe like a five for me. It's it's kind of average, but yeah, I agree. The, the, the logo's too high. And I'm also not really a fan of the logo itself. It reminds me of, uh, of Michael Keaton Batman. The Dark Knight Returns. Look at him and his fucking grumpy looking at. I feel like they did something different with the chin here to kind of make it more like Dark Knight Returns. I just, I've never really been much of a fan of the suit. I think he looks Goes into that like classic Batman style, but just like slightly different interpretation. It's, a, it's an iconic look, but like for me, I'm gonna give it a seven. I just really don't like this logo. The, this logo is, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big. All right, in here we have the piece of resistance. Batman Beyond. Because it's Batman Beyond, it's a 10. However, they do this suit so right here. It is like the perfect recreation of the Batman Beyond suit. And I, I love the textures on it and like the face thing too. This to me is what 
it would look like if Bruce wore the suit in his prime. I love this suit. I love the series. I got to give my boy Batman Beyond a 10. This is the suit that I would use the most in this game. It's so good. The logos for everything about it absolutely perfect uh sinestro corpse batman i actually low-key really like this suit i won't lie even with the yellow i love the detail that he has the 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 sinestro corp ring on here i like the suit i like the logo and like the way that the yellow kind of splits off the yellow gauntlets and then the patch right here too i'm giving this like a nine i really like this suit so the other playable character catwoman y you know <laughs> You know, getting a 10. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. Animated series Catwoman, the whip on the side looks really weird. But other than that, I think this suit is just kinda, kinda okay. This one, I feel like is way more animated than the uh, than the Batman one. I don't know, I'm just, this one never really spoke to me. I'm gonna give it a six. Long Halloween Catwoman, could earn her fucking gremlin ears i do not like this suit at all it's getting a three i don't like it and now we move on to the boy hello boy this suit is fucking getting a 10 from me i when the first image of arkham robin dropped i audibly went holy shit <laughs> like i love this modern interpretation of robin he has like the tacticalness but like he still looks like he's wearing like casual pants the shin guards here i love this suit it's a 10 this is where my personal bias comes in this is one of my favorite robin suits of all time i love this suit and i i love this pose that he does and the hood up too just adds that sort of extra layer of of badass okay so now we have animated series robin i love how it's tim drake robin but this is dick grayson which is fine of course but this one also kind of goes into that like super duper animated style you know i'm also gonna give this a 10 because this is also one of my favorite interpretations of robin kind of also leading into like this being like kind of like very similar to the teen titans outfit or actually you know what mm, i'm gonna give it a nine it's like the the robin logo looks a little bit weird other than that i like the rest of it so yeah it, it's gonna it's gonna get a nine red robin the amount of detail and texture on this suit is freaking amazing this suit is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and it's tim drake robin so it's super duper appropriate too the white eyes like yeah it, and like i feel like with the chin strap too he just looks so much more mature also it's getting a 10. i really like this suit i never really use it because i like the robin suit more but it looks it looks fucking amazing nightwing when this trailer dropped holy shit <laughs> it, it is one of my favorite video game trailers of all time and it's for a fucking dlc character i love his hair he has the the city boy style which in arkham knight i'm pretty sure it is called uh it, they are he is called like city boy or something i love the hair the mask looks great i love this interpretation of nightwing and like i'm not really a fan of like these types of logos like like the v logo but with the way that this suit looks going all the way down to his arm he has the back holder for the escrima sticks and also the escrima sticks themselves i actually have these escrima sticks hold on i actually have the uh the nightwing escrima sticks yeah nightwing escrima sticks so if i just they have like the the blue here you can see the nightwing logo right here and that's supposed to light them up if you put like like batteries in the suits getting a 10 and now we have animated series nightwing with an actual nightwing logo however <laughs> the only thing i don't like about it is that it goes to his back with the Escrima stick holder. Other than that, I also really love this suit. The hair is different. Like he doesn't have the long hair in the back, which is just kind of whatever. I love the... the that suit. We have the Batman Incorporated suit okay <laughs> so the logo is fine i like the logo on his belt too but then he just has another crotch guard that is just so it's like so in your face i'm i'm not joking that's the first thing i looked at because it was right there and i just saw boom just black bat crotch just right there with the, with the guard 
it's i just no overall i'm giving it a seven yeah the crotch guard really stands out it was like the, i was like whoa okay and that was arkham city so i don't have my copy of arkham origins unfortunately so we are going to look at the arkham Origins suits here so this is the arkham origins bat suit like i i like the all black like there's no color whatsoever there's no gray it's just black and i think it looks badass and he is so buff especially in the arms it's like mm, holy shit like imagine getting punched by that i like this suit it's getting a nine it's not my favorite but it's get it's getting a nine for me look at this. <laughs> look at this shit blackest night batman Ah, uh, dude, I, the zombie texture stuff is cool. The Blackest Night like logo on the bat suit looks weird. The line looks a little bit weird also. Ah, uh, it's in the cape. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this like a six. It's 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 average. It's not doing a whole lot for me though. Uh, the long Halloween Batman. Ooh, looks like he's wearing boxer briefs. <laughs> it's like an average suit with like the long ears, but I, I think it looks pretty good and the belt looks a little weird though actually there's like nothing in the center and it's kind of weird looking uh i'm gonna give it like a, a, a six also or actually mm, no i'll give it a seven because i like it more than the blackest night one but yeah the underwear stairs it stands out uh red sun batman i think it looks interesting you know it's not like it's a good design i want to say short ears are really short i'm gonna give this one a seven also there's a lot of seven gotham by gaslight i still need to watch this movie actually i like the throwing knives on the side the texture it just kind of looks i mean i know why the texture looks that way it just kind of looks like he's wearing pajamas the cowl being like sewed on there is kind of cool oh my god his shoulders are very bulky too and it's probably just like you know arkham origins batman being so like you know i think that this one is gonna get like a it's like another seven for me uh new 52 graphics batman oh it looks super duper techno -y. the the belt looks fine the ears also look pretty fine also i like how this one is like more like dark gray well we'll talk about the new 52 suit in arkham knight later i'm gonna have to give this one another seven it's like another one of those bat suits where it's just like the regular bat suit but just like different modifications that they just do to make it stand out to that more to make it more unique and that's basically what all those lines are for batman noel i actually really like the way that this suit looks like the bat logo is black but it's also still a part of his cowl and then the grayness I, and the gauntlets, ooh, I really like this one. I'm giving this one an eight. Probably like an 8.5, actually. I, I really like that. I like this here, like the logo did it for me. I think that looked so cool. Uh, Batman, <laughs> Knight of the Round Table. <laughs> this looks so goofy with the red knight. I, I actually really love, <laughs> I actually low key kind of love this. I think I'm gonna give this like a nine. I kind of wish that the belt was yellow and not red. Thrill, ooh. Oh, oh, that yellow logo is not doing it for me. The belt looks super rubbery. The gauntlets go up almost to his shoulders. Oh, no. Oh, and then he has the, the chin strap. Oh, my God. I don't like this. This one's gonna go for <laughs> Batman the Dark Knight. Wait, what? What is this? Just a recolor? Oh, well, then it's getting a whatever I said about Arkham Origins. First appearance bat suit. I think it looks fine. The purple gloves are not my favorite, and there's no gauntlets. But, like, you know, again... I'm gonna give it a seven. It's, I, I don't hate it, but I don't really love it either. This suit looks cool. The, the brightest day suit, this looks fucking cool. I actually really like this logo. And I think what I like about it is that he doesn't have a bat logo either. It's just the, the you know, the, the white lantern logo. I'm giving it a nine. I really, really like it. And I'm not gonna lie. I think I'd be even more terrified of Batman if he went to punch me and he was wearing all white. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I don't know about this one. It reminds me of the Noel skin, but the logo just looks poo-poo. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with the gauntlets there. Oh, he has a baton though. The baton looks cool. I'm get I'm giving it a four. The but I'm giving it the the brownie points for the Escremistic stick batons on the side. He actually has them on the side. Earth 2 Dark Knight. So this is the Is this Thomas Wayne? Yeah. 
I love it. I don't really have anything unique to say about it. I'm giving, I'm giving it a nine. I think it looks better at night, but I like how it looks here also. Injustice Batman. This suit actually looks really dope. I like this suit. I like the belt, all like the whole armored look and stuff. I'm also giving this one a nine. This looks really fucking good. I, 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 I usually like, I liked the Injustice bat suit anyways. But it's also really cool that it's here. So Arkham Origins Deathstroke. I like the suit. I don't really like how he looks with the helmet off, but I think he looks fucking badass here. I'm I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a nine. Injustice 2 Deathstroke. I was never really a fan of Injustice 2 Deathstroke's design. I don't know, there's something about it I, I just didn't really like. And even here, I'm not really a big fan of it. I'm gonna give it like a seven. It's, it's alright. I can't see him and not think of the look they gave him in Teen Titans. Well it's funny. Because his Teen Titans suit is right here. And I actually really like... Oh, actually, mm, I think I'd like this suit a lot more if they didn't have, like, the 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 ammo strap around him. Uh, he has, like, the boxer briefs, I can already tell. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this this one is, is getting a six for me. It's definitely, it's definitely not the vibe for me personally. Hi, this is Redgrave of the future. I realized that I actually missed a good portion of the Arkham Origins suits, so we're gonna go through them right here. So right here, we have the Batman 1 million suit. It looks kind of goofy, especially the logo. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, it, it uh, oh my God, I'm very mixed on this. I like the mask with like no mouth. And then, it, you know, there's part of me that doesn't like the shoulder pads connecting with the Bat logo, but also a part of me that really does, It's it's one of those. So I'm, I'm giving it a seven. I'm, I'm giving this one a seven. All right, up next, we actually have another playable character in Arkham Origins, and that is Bruce Wayne himself. I really like the ninja outfit that he has, and he has like the, the Muay Thai ropes around him to make his punches a little bit harder. I like the beard. It's a really nice ninja costume. I kind of dig it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But again, it's not like amazing, but I'm also going to have to give this maybe like a seven. And then we have an alternate for the vigilante costume, which is actually like, actually, wait, no, 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 no. This actually is more like a, a vigilante costume because he's not wearing the ninja outfit, but he has like, you know, the shoulder pads and the leather jacket and the gauntlets and stuff. This feels like it, it would be like a vigilante suit. You know, it, it'd kind of be the same thing as like Spider-Man having his wrestler suit, but this would be Bruce's first suit. Maybe like around like the first time that he was doing the whole vigilante thing. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like this is also something that like Batman could wear like during the day and still not be recognized, like that sort of thing. Uh, I actually really like this. I, I never knew that this existed. Uh, if I could just wear this around Gotham City and just kind of traverse around like this, I totally would. So honestly, I'm giving this one a Eight. I actually really like this. All right, so we have Arkham Origins Adam West Batman, and oh my god, if I could zoom in, he looks so grumpy. <laughs> I, I actually really like it. It looks like it's Arkham, Bat like Arkham Bruce Wayne cosplaying as Adam West Batman, and I really love it. And I think the stubble and just the angry face that he has just completes it. And I think for that, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna give this like a nine. So this I believe is called Nightfall? Cause doesn't Asriel wear this? I, oh, it's, I, it's so terrifying, but I also love it at the same time. So, oh yeah, like uh, the cape, the, the, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm, I'm giving it a nine <laughs> also. This is actually a really cool suit. <laughs> okay, so this is badass. So there's an actual story reason for this. This is from the Cold Cold Heart DLC, like the thermal suit. Um, I also read that like, if you have batarangs, the batarangs are also like, they glow for like the thermal stuff. I think it's badass. I, I think that having like the giant armor like this is just really cool. I, I, I think I said this in my Spider-Man video, but there was like an electro proof suit that just looked horrendous. I didn't like it, but I really like the way that, that this one looks, especially with like the design of like the, the, the thermal stuff. It's, you know, it's nothing like too special, but it's not, you know, I, I'm playing it safe, giving it an eight. All right, and I completely skipped over that um, Robin is also in Arkham Origins. He's in the Arkham Origins multiplayer and he actually has suits. 
So this is Arkham Origins Robin. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Um, like it's like armor plated, like it, it's a lot of red. It, it This honestly reminds me more of Tim Drake Robin than anything. You know, it's, it's not my favorite, but for like the Arkham Origins, like first Robin suit, you know, I think it's okay. I'd, I'd probably give this like a five. It, it's it's about average, you know, um, eh, like five, somewhere between a five or a four. One year later, Robin. So this is also a skin in Arkham Arkham Knight, and um, I I gotta say that I I still I actually like it. The the gauntlets are really long, but this is also I think this is Tim Drake Robin, right? Which is very weird that this is Tim Drake Robin, but they gave uh, yeah, it's Tim Drake Robin, but they gave Dick the suit. Um. You know, I like it. My thoughts are basically going to be the same as they are with the Arkham Knight suit a little bit later. Um, but I, right here, presented in front of me and the fact that, like, I, I just really like Dick's haircut and his face at the mask, too. Um, I'm going to give it an 8. Give, going to give it an 8. And this is the Tim Drake Robin suit right here. This is also an Arkham Knight. The, it's Tim Drake Robin, but this looks like Dick for, for sure. I really like it. Um, it's a classic Robin suit, can't go wrong with it. I think out of all the Robin suits here for Arkham Origins specifically though, uh, this one has to be my favorite. And one of the things that I just realized is that he doesn't, like he has a domino mask, but the mask is also like extending around his ears, kind of like how uh, like the, the arrow masks work. And I actually kind of like that. It's like, it's almost like they were they were experimenting with like the, the domino mask and then they figured out how to just like glue it to their faces, you know? Uh, I, I really like it. If I didn't rate it already, I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine. Really, really like it. And now we go here. I discovered the other day that I didn't have 240% and I was thinking about doing it for the bat suit. And then I was like, no, <laughs> I'm good. This is the, what number was it? Version 7.43. Is this another case of just the Arkham City suit, but just more detailed? With it being the Arkham City suit, but just more detailed, I'm gonna have to give you a 9.5. I'm not giving you a 10 though. I don't know if this one deserves a 10. Mm, I'm giving it a 10, fuck it my birthday bat suit v 8.03 i think the thing about this because i know it's just a filthy looking suit right here because of like the story purposes i love all the suit damage that this one gets specifically i'm not gonna rate it though because the other one is just the same suit but you know not damaged but i really love all the suit damage that this one has. I just don't know about this. It, it reminds me of the Nightwing suit a little bit in terms of it just kind of like all being like, it's like a one piece instead of having like different layers for like the top and bottom. I'm gonna give it an eight. It, it like the super duper technical stuff with it, like all like the plates move, his helmet move is like, I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that, but it's not like bad. New 52 suit. This one, I think this is a stinker suit. I think that the lines are so distracting and ugly. <laughs> I really don't like that about this suit. Other than that, it's just typical Batman suit. I'm giving it like a five. It looks rubber, but like, I don't really like the way that the plates are. Michael Keaton bat suit. See, now this one has an excuse for looking like rubber because it literally is made of rubber. But holy fucking shit, this suit looks good. I remember playing with this for a little bit. I'm giving it a 10. It's so good looking. And you know what? It looks like he's turning his head a little bit, which maybe I should give it like a 9.5 because he's turning his head. But I'm gonna give it a 10. Drew, look at the... Look at the rubber abs right there. You can't see the bat nips. Amazing. Batman Noel, which was literally in Arkham Origins, but just better and more detailed. Why does it look like he's wearing leather? Because he is wearing leather. What did I give Arkham Origins Noel? An eight or a nine? Whatever I gave Arkham Origins Noel, I'm giving this like 0.5 higher. 1970 Batman, Jesus Christ, this again. <laughs> I, I don't like blue Batman. I just don't, I'm sorry. It basically is just the same suit, but more detailed, right? Whatever I gave it in the last game. Oh wait, I Actually, wait, ooh, I like that the cowl is like completely separate 
from the cape too. That's actually really good detail. I'm giving it an eight, actually. This suit looks very nice. I think that's the thing that Arkham Knight is going to do specifically. It's gonna be a lot of, I don't know about this. Oh my God, the game looks so pretty. I'm, I'm boosting it higher. Arkham Origins. This suit does not fit this Batman. I am very, very, very glad that it's here, but I'm gonna laugh very hard when all of those Nintendo Switch fuckers are gonna look at this suit and go, what's Arkham Origins? I thought that this was the complete Arkham trilogy. Anyhow, I'm giving it like, I'm giving it a nine again, <laughs> hold on. Oh my God, it just looks so fucking good in this game though, I'm sorry. <laughs> Iconic gray and black suit, the belt looks weird. I've never liked the belt here, but again, typical bat suit, but just weird looking belts but I'm gonna give it a seven. I like everything else about it. I just don't like the belt. Batman Inc. It is literally the same suit, but it's actually better because it's it's not white or like a light gray. It's a dark gray. The crotch is still here. Why are there screws on the crotch blade? <laughs> Hold on. It looks way better here. I'm giving it like an eight. Ooh, the, ooh actually, wait, ah, I like that. Like the the gloves yeah I'm, I'm giving this one an eight it's it's way better than it was in city flashpoint batman 10 10 10 10 fucking look at him this suit is so fucking good you have the pouches he actually has guns that he doesn't use i love the red contrast here Holy fucking ch I wish I used this suit a lot more often than I did. Th this suit's beautiful. 10. Uh, Earth 2 Dark Knight skin. I feel like if I was Batman, I would either wear this. I, I would either have this suit or this suit. There's something about the red on the first one that I really like, but there's something about the red on this one that I'm, I'm not sure about. The logo is great. Oh wait, he has red inside the cape. That's probably why it looks a little funky to me. This suit's fucking badass though, actually. I'm gonna give it an eight. First appearance Batman skin. <laughs> it looks so goddamn weird. It looks so weird in this game. Wait a minute. The texture looks fucking beautiful though. Bro, imagine you rob a fucking convenience store and this goofy looking asshole shows up. The cape is very small. Bro, Ar Arkham Knight is really just doing a good job of making like meh looking suits. Very good based on the texture alone. I'm gonna give it a six though. Original Arkham Batman suit, which is funny because apparently it's just this suit but more detailed. I think I gave the Arkham Asylum suit like an eight. This one gets more detail, so it's like an 8.5. But yeah, basically the exact same suit. The long ears are back, which I really like. Yeah, 8.5. 8 and now we're on to the bat fleck. Oh my God, when they added this suit, this is the suit that I use the most. I am not a bat flex man, at least I wasn't at the time. Holy shit, <laughs> this suit, I feel like works so well in this universe, especially. I really love the way that this suit looks. The texture is fucking great. It's, oh my God, the the, the cowl. They, they didn't do the thing that they did in City in this game, which was kind of like alter like the face a little bit to kind of fit. But I feel like with the way that the cowl sits on his face, it fits really well here. I really like this suit. I'm giving it a 10. This is my favorite suit in the game. And actually, I wanna know what else is funny. I also have Batfleck as a hot toy. <laughs> Look, look at this fucking suit. You can see like the scratches that are right here too, right? Like that wasn't like, you know, made from like wear and tear. That's actually just how the suit is. But you can see that exact same tear on the fucking suit. Like you see that, like you see the tears right there? That's on my hot toy. It's like they just took this and just made it a hot toy. It, I love it, 10 out of 10. Oh no, I'm gonna get canceled, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know about this one. I don't like how bulky it is, dude. I know what they're doing, but I just don't, I prefer the original. <laughs> that's just, that's just me. It's a cool suit, but not my Batman Beyond suit. I think also for me, it's like this, it's like the cowl where it like stops at the mouth, but you can still see the mouth. Like really they kind of had to do this to do the whole techno part thing. 
I like this interpretation of it, but it's, it's, oh my God, it's, it's way too much for me. This also has a hot toy. I'm giving it an eight. I'm sorry. I don't hate it, but Batman Beyond. Dark Knight Returns. You see what I'm talking about with the bat logo though? Like it, it does the same thing here. I, I like it more here, but it, the, yeah, it, it's funny because it's almost like these two could almost be interchangeable if it wasn't for like the completely detailed texture and like the minor differences i'm giving this one like a seven you know it's it's fine classic tv series uh rest in peace adam west now imagine you're mugging someone <laughs> you look up and you see this goofy looking motherfucker arkham knight does it again oh wait there's like a little like batman pin right here on his cape that's cool I'm giving it a 10. I got to agree. I got to respect Adam West, but also just like the level of detail that is actually on this suit is actually mind boggling. I don't know about this one, Sunny D. <laughs> this, this one is just very red. I don't know about the, ooh, red cheeks. The texture looks cool. Oh wait, the metallic gauntlets actually look also. You know, giving it an eight. Or no, 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 that's too generous. I think seven. I feel like this is what I would wear if I was Batman, but yeah, it's it the red red on red on red on red is too much. Oh yeah, I just noticed those ears too. Yeah, those ears are ugly looking. Okay, so here's the thing about this suit. I think it looks great. It is a very, very, very nice recreation of the suit. I like all of the detail, but he is so fucking skinny. <laughs> he is so, so skinny in this. Look at how small he is. I played with it for a little bit yesterday and I was like, oh my God, he just looks, he looks fucking tiny. I know what they're doing, but like Jesus. <laughs> I, and that's why I like the Batflex suit more in this game because I feel like it's more appropriate. But I, you know, I love the way that the suit looks looks though but i'm giving it an eight i like the batman begins suit more i would also like to see the batman begins suit in this I, I i think that that would be nice uh anime batman what the fuck is up with that gauntlet that's it's like on like the wrong part of his arm yeah i know it's all right the belt looks weird i'm giving this like a five maybe a four and then we have this <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing. Oh, I know that this is a thing, but like, ooh, I like the details on the cape though. The cowl and the cape look like they're two different colors. I, uh, five. I'm get yeah, 10 out of 10 and zero out of 10 at the same time. It's getting a five. All right, Robin. They got so much right about Arkham City Robin. And then they did this and they just ruined the suit. The saturation is a bit different. It's not as colorful. I really don't like that he doesn't put the fucking hood on. It's, I, I just think, you know, not to say that like Tim Drake looks ridiculous. I don't really find him intimidating, right? Like Robin, like Arkham City Robin looked intimidating, but n n he looks goofy with, with the head shaven like this. They, they patted him up on his biceps which was, is a smart thing to do, but I just personally don't like the look. He still kind of has the shin guards here, but like he just look, he looks so much less iconic. I don't like it. This, this is getting a five for me. I really, I'm not a big fan of this suit. New 52 Robin skin, I'm also giving a five. I don't even need to look at it. I don't like the way that the, the, the logo looks. The armor just looks kind of goofy. The belt design looks very goofy. This is just a very goofy looking suit. I, I, I do not like this suit at all. Especially when you're sitting next to, next to this. The original Tim Drake Robin suit. This suit's a fucking 10. This is my favorite Ro like Robin suit of the game. This is the one that I always use. I love this suit. I love the way that his hair looks like actually being like kind of like, you know, neat and tidy. The Robin emblem actually looks good. It, it looks more like traditional Robin. But to me, it kind of looks like with the new 52 Robin skin, it's like, okay, let's take the Robin suit and then just overcomplicate it. The original Tim Drake Robin suit, it's just, yeah, Robin suit, green spandex, the texture looks great. You know, it has like the, that leotard look, like classic, classic Robin look. And you can actually see the biceps. Do you see the veins on this man? Do you see them? 
Like, why would you not want to show that off? Why are you covering up the good stuff? Original Tim Drake Robin gets a 10. One year later, Robin. The texture on this also looks really good. I don't know how I feel about the long ass gauntlets. Other than that, that's it. Mask looks fine. The texture, it's basically just the exact same texture. I'm giving this like a, a nine. And then we have classic. TV series, Robin, Burt Ward. I actually had an opportunity to see Burt Ward a couple years ago and I didn't take it and I regret it. I love, first of all, like the recreation of like the face with the hair. It's great. Gee, the fucking <laughs> the little elf shoes here. 10, I'm giving it a 10. Yeah, it looks, looks great. I love it. Catwoman, I think once again, this is just no 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 it's not it's not her arkham city look but more detail it's a little different um you know I, it's it's not that much different though but i agree i'm it's selena kyle she looks great here she has like an actual like holster for her whip too i like that yeah i'm gonna give it a nine uh 1990s catwoman skin i really like the long ponytail on the back i really do I think that this, like, it reminds me of the, um, oh my god, what was it? The, the long, the, like, the Halloween skin from Arkham City, but better because her gloves and her boots are actually different colors. It has really good contrast with that. The mask actually looks really cool. I like it. I'm, gi I'm giving it a nine. Classic TV series Catwoman skin. Meow. They once again did the thing where they kind of like changed her face a little bit, but I like the hair style is perfect. The suit texture looks great. I'm giving it a nine. I, I really like it. I never really used it, but I really like it. Okay. As the certified Dick Grayson stand that I am, I can definitively say that I do not like this suit. Here, where do I begin with this? The black, like, under section is kind of fine, right? Like, I like it's kind of standard Nightwing shit. I like how he actually has a pouch now for all of his stuff. Good detail. The, I like the blue on the boots right here. It's very subtle. I never really noticed it before. I don't like this. They were kind of trying to solve the issue of, like, the V logo kind of going like all around. So they had like a strap, like like the black strap right here going to the shoulders and then kind of connecting to the back. I just don't like that. And then the fucking half cowl right here. Like what the hell? Who, who did this? Who did this to my boy? I want a list of names. They cut his hair in the back too. So he has long bangs up front and then just like really short hair in the back. I fucking hate this. It's not even a cowl, it's a mask. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't. I'm giving it like a six. I, I really don't like this soup, especially because two rows down you have this. I'm, I'm skipping new 52 because literally like you had this like add the pouch maybe and you're good right and and i'm giving this one a 10 again because it's literally just the same suit but just better textured this is the suit that i use i fucking love this suit especially here with all the details and shit at 10 new 52 nightwing skin anyways that's my rant and see could you just now imagine this but in blue with like a little bit more of like, like imagine like the logo and then like the arms here, but with this suit. And I feel like it'd be great. I think I like the mask here out of all three. Yeah, I do, I do. This mask is fine, but I like the mask of New 52 Nightwing the most. Here, it, this is gonna be very nitpicky. The only thing I don't like about this suit, the Screamer 6 are still the blue color but the rest of the suit is red. And I th I think it just it just looks weird. But I would also like to see this suit in blue. I like the like the like the lines on the belt here. You know, he actually has the holster for the Escrima 6 too, which is awesome. I think his hair looks really nice. I feel like the hair is like the exact same, but like with the half cowl, it just looks so fucking weird. It is I think it is the same hair. But yeah, the cowl like the the mask on his default look just just looks so fucking weird. I'm giving this one a nine though. I'd give it a ten if the Scream Six were red. That's the, that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I would also like to see the suit in uh, in blue. 
We have Harley Quinn, who is another playable character here. Typical Harley Quinn-isms, like she has the red and black that's just kind of like swapping back and forth. You know, she looks, it's a, like appropriate Harley Quinn, I'd want to say. I'd, I'd give it an eight. There's nothing really, oh, there's nothing really like standout-ish about this version of Harley Quinn, but I, I'm, I'd give it an eight. A uh, classic Harley Quinn skin. It looks so rubbery. There's a lot of detail on this though, I gotta say. You know, but yeah, that is also the point. I, I think it's appropriate that I give this a 10. Wait a minute, hey, where the fuck's Batgirl? Uh, we'll, we'll discuss that later. Red Hood, god damn, <laughs> god damn this suit. They wanted to solidify Arkham Red Hood and they fucking did it. I'm not a big fan of the shin guards. I th everything else I really like. I li yeah, I like the jackets. I like the jacket on the back too. The mask I think is better because he has his hood up. How I don't know how he sees with his hood all the way up like that. And normally I like the brown leather jacket design, but I think that the red with like the red hoodie with the um, black and white jacket here, I, I think it has really good contrast all around. I, I will also give this like a nine. I'm just not a fan of the shin guards. All right, and then we have Arkham Knight. I have never once worn this suit. I, it's all fucking techno -y and shit. Like I, I know that it's the Arkham Knight, but I would have much rather preferred having like the red hood alternate like that he gets at the end of the game. I, I like the technical helmet, like the technical parts of the helmet with like the eyes and stuff but yeah like i you know i'm gonna give it like an eight it's like in that sort of like eight out of ten ish way for me i i wish like i said i wish he had an alternate where it was like the red hood from the end of the game and i also would have liked to see an alt with the brown jacket but i'm i'm not i wasn't gonna be too picky about that obviously but you know like eight yeah now where the hell's batgirl all right so we have batgirl get this ugly ass logo out of here okay uh it's all good ui so god damn barbara gordon looks good is, is that like are those bat boots are those bat boots <laughs> do you see that? there's like there's like one two three there's four different bats on here i am also not a fan of the logo personally like the wings are way too big she doesn't have a utility belt what the fuck uh the gauntlets look sick i think it looks fantastic Oh, she has another bat <laughs> on the on the cape right here. <laughs> That's actually really funny. So one, two, three, four. She has five bats on this suit. Yeah, and then the hair in the back too. Yeah, this is a really good suit. I I like it. I'm going to give it like an eight average, but yeah, the loco isn't doing it for me. So we're going to look at the 240% golden bat suit, which is right here which is literally just the Arkham Knight suit, but with a gold bat logo. And I think I gave it an eight. I'm gonna give it a seven because going for 240% to get the golden bat logo <laughs> is just not it. I knew for years I was missing something with the bat suit, like the showcase thing. I was like, there's one thing I'm missing and I don't know how to get it. And then I found out it was this and I was like, oh. And I was thinking about doing it yesterday for this video. And then I just said it wasn't worth it because I was at like 98%. Yeah, I, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But it, it's seven. It, it's a seven out of 10. All right, so up next, we have the suit that was just added today, the Battinson suit. So here is a disclaimer. So this is actually the unfinished version that we got, you know, from Epic's, the Epic Game Store that was released accidentally and then deleted because I looked at the Nintendo Switch version and I actually forgot to put it up here. So I am going to show you what it looks like on the Nintendo Switch. First of all, do you see that bat signal? Look at it. Look at that 480p bat signal. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for the perfect moment. I don't know how to make an entrance. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Oh, look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Could you imagine if I actually fucking paid $60 for this video just to get the, the Pattinson bat suit? Look. <laughs> I want to see what the rest of the fucking Struggle. suits look like. So oh my God. So like I said, we're not looking at that. We're actually looking 
at this, the incomplete version of the suit, which the lighting here like doesn't really look that great either, but at least the textures are here. So the Batman suit. So like you can see like just because this is the unfinished product from the Epic Game Store, there's still like some sort of low res every once in a while. Like the, the bat suit, like the bat logo was low res. It's like just slightly low res though, but looking at the rest of the suit, this suit's a fucking 10. It's a 10. I think personally, this bat suit, and we can even look at combat here, this bat suit perfectly fits Arkham Knight Batman combat style. And if, if we even look even here, it looks great. I absolutely love the way that this suit looks. I'm giving it a 10. Once it officially comes out for PlayStation, I'm doing a whole other playthrough with this game. Honest, honest to God. Yeah, exactly. And even in the movie, when I was watching the movie Burrito, I was thinking like, oh my God, this is just Arkham Batman, but, <laughs> but just on the screen. And he was throwing like the elbow strikes too and using the gauntlet. I, I, I fucking loved it. 10 out of 10. Can't wait to play it. Fuck the Switch version. Lastly... We have this. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League Batman. I will say this for full transparency sake. I did get access to the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League closed alpha. I was playing it the other day. However, the reason why I say that is because looking at this suit here as it's presented in front of me, but also having the knowledge of what it looks like without the color filter it once again falls into the category for me of like it's just another typical bat suit where they have to look at it and go okay what can we do to make it more technified and i'm gonna give it an eight because it's kind of like on that sort of exact same realm of like yeah it's like an average bat suit but personally speaking i just like the other ones more especially like looking at it right here there's like a yellow outline on the logo and stuff and like the belt is a little bit different honestly like this kind of look here reminds me of the telltale batman look personally but like i said eight out of ten it, it, it's an eight so yeah that was my ranking of all of the batman arkham suits not just batman but for all of the other playable characters as well so in terms of like all the different bat suits you know the arkham series is much like i'm sure many other people can agree um one of the best superhero series is of all time and i'm glad that they are still updating it with a new suit uh the robert pattinson suit specifically which is the reason why i wanted to make this video and then obviously we have a uh, suicide squad killed the justice league coming out very soon which is a continuation of the arkham series but to me what I think some of my favorite suits are, it has to be like the Robin suit from Arkham City. That one is probably, if I had to rank all these on a tier list, that would probably be my favorite favorite. Slowly followed beh behind uh, Arkham City Nightwing. But in terms of like which suit was my favorite in terms of like Batman, I gotta say uh, like it has to be the Batflex suit, uh, the Pattinson suit. They look really nice in the games. I really like the way that the Batman Beyond suit looks in Arkham City. But I just really like the way that Arkham Batman looks in general. I think it's like, like I said, it's not like a 10 out of 10 for me, but it's that like, this is Batman. And to me, the Arkham series is one of my like definitive versions of Batman. Whatever your favorite suits are, please let me know what they are in the comments below. Um, if you want to rank them too, you're more than welcome to do so. I would love to see them in the comments. Thank y'all again so much for watching and I will see you next time.